begin at City Hall, where new polling from Fox 45 News, the Baltimore Sun, and University of Baltimore provides insight into the races for mayor and city council president. Tomorrow marks four weeks from the primary election. The poll shows a tight race between Mayor Brandon Scott and Sheila Dixon. But that gap is widening in the city council president's race as Councilman Zeke Cohen pulls further ahead of incumbent Dick Mosby and former council member Shannon Sneed. Fox 45's Mackenzie Frost takes us through the numbers and shares the driving force behind some voters' decisions. We're talking about a double-digit lead for Councilman Zeke Cohen, and that's a significantly different number than the Goucher poll we saw just last week. Meanwhile, Baltimore City voters remain split on their view on the direction of the city. Who will lead the city council moving forward is one of the questions Baltimore City voters will soon decide. The Democratic primary set between incumbent Nick Mosby, Councilman Zeke Cohen, and former council member Shannon Sneed. The latest poll from Fox 45 News, the Baltimore Sun, and the University of Baltimore shows Cohen with 40% of the vote. Mosby's support sits at 21%, while Sneed has about 17%. Even with a 4.3 margin of error. It does look to us in our poll that Zeke Cohen has a pretty substantial lead that would be difficult to overcome. These numbers show a significant wider lead for Cohen compared to the latest poll out from Goucher College just last week. In that poll, Cohen was ahead of Mosby by four percentage points, just outside Goucher's 3.7 percent margin of error. Pollster Steve Robbie, owner of Opinion Works, the company that did this latest poll, says even support among Cohen and Mosby's bases is different. The Nick Mosby voter tends to be less committed to voting. They're less likely to say they're actually going to come out. But when you look at the hardcore primary voter, they're much more oriented towards Cohen. The racial split for Cohen and Mosby is evident. 61% of white voters indicate they plan to vote for Cohen. Just 9% of white voters say they support Mosby. In the African-American community, it's more evenly split. 30% say they support Cohen, while 28% support Mosby. What's driving voters in Baltimore this year? Well, according to the data, Public safety and crime remain the top issue at 37 percent. Strong leadership and personal qualities is the second most important thing for voters. 12 percent of Baltimore City voters say improvements to the community and transparency and accountability are important, while 11 percent say it's transportation or children and education. Diving deeper into the poll results, 40% of Baltimore City voters say they believe the city is on the right track, while 40% say it's on the wrong track. Public, public's always looking ahead, I think, right. more than they're looking back. John Willis, former Maryland Secretary of State and current professor at the University of Baltimore, argues that indicates at least some Baltimore City voters are willing to give Mayor Brennan Scott more time to accomplish his goals. The polling data shows Scott is locked in a primary race with Sheila Dixon with razor thin margins that lead well within 4.3 percent margin of error for this poll. Scott's message is things are getting better. I'm making progress. Sheila's chosen look back. We got to go backwards uh, through is a basically a negative message. With several voters indicating they remain undecided, candidates have time to blitz and urge city voters to turn out to the polls, which could change the dynamics of the race and the overall outcome. The latest numbers from the Maryland Board of Elections show more than 45,000 mail-in ballots have already been sent to Democratic primary voters in Baltimore City. Early voting is set to begin May 2nd, and Election Day is May 14th. We're in the newsroom. Mackenzie Frost, Fox 45 News. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.